Hey, what's going on guys? Magic Jellybean here, your host Magic Jellybean. This is the Speed and Strength Hammer Down, baby. <laughs> speed and Strength Hammer Down jacket. I am in five foot 10 and three quarters, five foot 10 and a half according to my doctor who's definitely lying. I'm 180 pounds with a little bit of clothes on, including this jacket. This is a small, you can see the fitment here. We're gonna go ahead and review this jacket. As always, subscribe. That's what the cool kids do on this channel. This is going to be not very specky. If you want all the specs and the mumbo jumbo and the, you got the liner here and it's made of the hydrate, blah, blah, blah. This is not that kind of video. This is gonna be my first impression. The first half of the video, you'll get to see all of this lovely stuff. And then I'm gonna go outside, take a ride, show you what it looks like and have a good time. I almost rhymed. <laughs> I'm fly. <laughs> right, so speed and strength hammer down. I'm a small. Don't know what my inseam is, doesn't matter, it's for pants. Uh, here's a couple cool things that I like. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Just look at this. I love the fact that this jacket is asymmetrical. Look, this design is killer. I wanted this jacket in white, but unfortunately I was at the latter end of Cyber Monday. Um, so I didn't find any more in smalls aside from red. I, I even found this, I did, couldn't even find this on Revzilla. I had to get this from eBay. <laughs> but this asymmetrical design is sick. It is so, so sick. Right, so let me go ahead and get into it. <sighs> Here we go. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know how I feel about Velcro. I hate Velcro. Velcro is a necessary evil. Without this Velcro, it would not be adjustable. But again, would it not be so hard to put magnets on here? I don't know. So, you got us adjustable Velcro straps. I was wearing this all day at work today. Um, I don't, it's just this side, I don't know why. I think there's maybe a fabric in here. But this thing is kind of, ru it rubs, if, if I don't push the fabric in here inside, it kind of rubs on my wrist when I'm using a mouse. But then again, you should be wearing this at work anyway. But when you're gonna be operating a throttle, this might rub on you and might annoy you. So just consider that in mind. This right here is amazing. Look at this. So uh, as any helmet should, it has a little, uh, it has three buttons where you can adjust the uh, diameter of the sleeve. The cool thing is, unlike other cheap uh, products, which, which you just kind of like pull it, this one actually has like a little thing that comes out. That is, I can't tell you how cool that is. I was just wearing a Joe Rocket before I got rid of it and I got this one. And I, I just love that. It, it creates such a clean look. You don't see the strap there. Because I mean, straps on a jacket, it, I mean, a jacket that's supposed to look sleek and then you just see like straps on here. <sighs> Ew. But anyways, as all um, textile jackets should, this is a textile, I think it's textile and some kind of mesh. No, no, it's actually just full textile aside from this here. But you got, of course, the zippers that open and close, so this gives you very nice ventilation. You've got one on the back here. As you can see, I already have it open because I am in Florida and it's pretty hot in Florida. I was riding this today on the Little Baby 500. I literally felt the air passing through my body and coming out these pockets. And I wasn't, I was going like 50 miles an hour. This, whatever this is, um, I, ha I had this on another jacket. You know, all jackets have this stuff. The last jacket I had, I could not feel the air passing through on the back. This thing, I don't know what they did, but I felt all the air just like, just like exiting. Like it was, it was pretty good. It, it surprised me and that was probably one of the good things about this. Is that for a textile jacket, um, I, went, I went to a dealership and I tried other jackets. They were really heavy. Um, I don't know why textile jackets are so heavy, but the speed and strength textile jacket, it is so light. You've got armor right here on your elbow. You've got armor right here on your shoulder. You've got a back protector. You don't have anything up here, but that's okay. This is usually, you know, what most jackets are. It's a shoulder, it's, a, it's an arm, and you got a back protector. I believe this is actually CE armor. This is not just, you know, like your um, Fisher Price armor that some jackets use. Um, so this is actually CE rated, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and the fact that it's CE rated and it's this light for a textile jacket, I'm really amazed. Um, this is incredible. Um, so that's pretty much all my first impressions. Um, like I said, if you really want to know the materials and what it's made out of, and you know, like the density of the hydraulic press that they use to form the colors or anything like that, I just, that's what the internet is for. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take this for a spin. I got my trusty gloves with me. I'm actually going to be using my Radiant heated gloves. Uh, I have to do a review on this as well. 
So whichever video comes first, uh, look out for that. And on to the video we go. <laughs> but let me tell you about this jacket. I have all the vents open um, and I obviously haven't buttoned up and I have the, the top button pushed up all the way. So as soon as I get on the road, I guess I'll begin with that. I don't really want to do it just stuck behind cars. But this thing, as you can see, it kind of looks awesome. This jacket flows so much air. It's actually kind of it's kind of stupid how much air I am really getting out of this. Yeah, I just had to beat traffic today. I need to I need to hurry home. I'm trying to get to the UPS store to return the bad helmet. When I ordered that Bellstar Mets helmet originally. It ended up being damaged, so I had to return it, and I haven't <laughs> haven't had the chance to return it yet. So, oh my gosh, I just hit a bump in the road, and it made me shift at the same time. This jacket, like I said, it flows so much hair, and it was raining earlier today, and I wasn't wet at all, except you know my a little bit of my pants. It wasn't raining that hard. I think it's even raining now, actually. No, no, no. I don't know. I, I look at see a little water droplets. Maybe that's just overspray from cars. But this textile jacket, man, it really protects you from rain, kind of like leather. Um, I don't know how it's going to do in a thunderstorm, obviously. You don't want to be wearing this in a thunderstorm anyway. But the, um, man, the armor on this thing, it is so, it's so, it's so good. It's so flexible. It's very comfortable. Unless you're sitting down. I was sitting down on an armchair and the armor was kind of getting annoying. And it was creating pressure on my uh, shoulder, but then again, you don't sit—you know—you don't sit at work for eight hours wearing your motorcycle armor anyway. So, not a real complaint, but just expect—you know—maybe over touring rides, if you rest your—if you're like a passenger and you're wearing this and you're resting your arm on something, just know that you might want to take the armor out. Otherwise, it's—it might create a pressure point, but. Dude, it looks sick. It's, it's like I said, it's the lightest textile jacket I've ever worn. Not, I'm not saying this is lighter than mesh. I'm just saying, you know, if textile jackets or textile hybrids, like textile mesh or textile leather, this is light. And it's, um, it's, it's unbelievably light. And I got it for on sale for $80 on eBay. And this is definitely the best $80 I've ever spent. Um, this is better than the armor that I, that I wear. The, I have like uh, armor that just has little mesh holes everywhere. You've probably seen it a couple times on the channel. Obviously the armor is lighter than this, but this jacket is so streamlined. It's just like the armor, but it provides me just a little bit better protection against the elements, which is what I really wanted. I wanted like a two, three season jacket. Cause that's basically all this is in Florida. You, you got like two seasons. You got hot as hell and you got mildly hot. And then you have two weeks of, of baby winter. Which is, uh, to, to people up north, it's just winter. But to people that live in Florida, you know, it's, um, oh, it's so cold. It's, it's not, it's like 60 at best. <laughs> Sometimes even less than that. So, I mean, winter's not really that bad. Um, I just wanted a jacket that offered a little bit more wind protection, which is exactly what this thing does. It doesn't have any liners on the inside. Um, but I'm really, I'm okay with that. Uh, because there's, you know, I don't need a rain liner. I'm not going to wear this in the rain. Uh, and it does such a good job anyway. So overall, my thoughts on this jacket, as I said inside, I think I gave this thing a 5 out of 5, but if if I didn't rate this jacket, I give this thing a 5 out of 5. No, 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 no. I give it a 4.9 out of 5. You know why I can't give it a perfect score? Because it's got Velcro on it. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Velcro on the straps. Yeah. Other than that, it's a 5 out of 5 jacket, so... Hope you liked the review. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it short here. I don't want the video to be too long. I just kind of want you to see it, see how it looks, you know, riding on a person that's five foot ten and three quarters, five foot ten and a half, according to the doctors. And uh, until the next time, make sure you subscribe to this channel um, to watch more content in the future, so you don't miss it. You don't miss my lovely, lovely face. And if you're wondering why I'm rocking this uh, this helmet instead of my new Bellstar Mips is because I don't have the camera. Remember I told you I don't have the, um, I'm not gonna mount a camera on the Bellstar yet because I wanna enjoy it before I make it a vlogging camera. So I'm using my trusty old LS2 uh, Omega Stream here. Uh, so until the next time, see you on the next episode, later.